So usually when you call a politician a clown, it's meant as an insult. But for the president of Ukraine, it's just part of his history. The guy went to clown school, was a comedian, then he became an actor, and then the president of Ukraine. So based off that experience, you can see why so many people thought he was out of his league when he ascended to the presidency. And I'll be honest, I was definitely one of his doubters. That being said, over the last week, what I've witnessed is a politician giving a masterclass on leadership. In today's video, gents, we're going to be talking about why President Vladimir Zelensky is such an inspirational leader and how he is doing all the right things when it comes to leading through crisis. So if you've been living under a rock and not aware, Russia has invaded Ukraine. And what we've seen in the last week is a leader that, in my opinion, is doing almost everything right when it comes to inspiring his people. And what makes this story even more amazing and I think more applicable to the average guy out there, when you look at this guy's background, you wouldn't have expected this level of leadership. Now, today's video, I'm breaking into five points, each of them incredibly important, but that last one is so simple, easily the most important point of them all. So make sure to stick around for that last point because I think it's the one that so many guys mess up on. So the first lesson any aspiring leader can learn from President Zelensky is to unify your competitors to fight a common enemy. Now, this one's pretty simple, pretty clear. You've got an invading country coming in. So, what do you do? All of these other politicians who you were, I mean, Ukraine is famous for their fist fights and for people not getting along. All these guys have huge egos. I mean, the last president, Poroshenko, I mean, this guy was a billionaire and he had fled the company, you know, the country on corruption problems. Guess what? He came back He's fighting on the streets. You've got the Klitschko brothers. I mean, these guys, you know, world-class boxers, one of them, uh, Vitaly, the mayor of Kiev, you know, he, they are all now under a unified banner. It's not about himself. You look at these videos he's doing. He's got other people behind him. All these people he doesn't always get along with. They've got different opinions, but he said, you know what? We got to put that all to the side. We've got to come together as one to be able to fight a common enemy. And that's what a great leader does. They realize that, hey, I may disagree with this guy, but when it comes down to it, we are all Ukrainians. We're going to unify to fight off that common enemy. If you're an American, you probably remember that Ben Franklin cartoon, Join or Die. It was a snake divided into parts, each of them representing a state that unless they came together to fight for their independence, they were going to lose. And it's the same thing, whether you are running a company, whether you're trying to get an organization up off the ground, a nonprofit, maybe you've just got a team, a soccer team that you're putting together. You've got to make sure you work together as one if you're going to be able to defeat your enemy. The next lesson you can learn, how he's over communicating, how he's dealing with misinformation. So, there's a lot of people spreading out rumors that he's ran away from the capital, that he's not even in Ukraine or Kiev anymore. And he's like all these other politicians and country leaders we've seen that have disappeared, gone into hiding, gone into exile. No, he goes out there and he films a lot video showing the back. You can see it in his background. I mean, I know Kiev. I've ran through that city so many hundreds of times living there for a year and a half, my wife being from there. It's just something I know those buildings. I know where, you know, in a general where he's at, I'm sure he's moving around. Point being is he's dealing with that misinformation straight on in a way that people want to consume. But you can tell this is a guy that gets social media. He gets it. Oh, you just need to send out a 45 second message about, Hey, I am here. My minister, you know, all the men that are supporting us are here. The soldiers are here. You are here and we're going to fight together. That's a very simple message. He gets it out and he's doing a great job over communicating because a lot of people, they just forget that every single day people need to hear when they're getting shelled, when the things are bad, things are tough. You've got to again and again, communicate and clearly let people know that you are there for them. The next leadership lesson to take from here is that there is one simple message that starting at the top with Zelensky and all of the leaders going down, they are consistently saying, this is our country, get out invaders. And it's, I mean, they're saying it in different ways, but again and again, we have a simple, clear message. This isn't, we're going to concede a little bit. Everyone, we're going to concede nothing. It doesn't matter if it takes a month, if it takes a year, if it takes a hundred years, these people, you know, they've gone through a lot of hardship and they're pulling on the strength, you know, from their grandfathers and their grandmothers going way back. And they understand what the, how bad this is going to get. And they are being consistent. Yes, we don't know how long it's going to take, but we are going to retain 
our country and we're going to push these people off that have come in. There's no talk of surrender. There's no talk of compromise. There's no talk about giving up their government and accepting Russia as rulers. These guys are really clear. No, we are going to fight for our independence. And let's talk about the confidence. So, we see these videos coming out of Zelensky having coffee with soldiers right there in Kiev. And, uh, you know, somebody's watching this video, someone's saying, that's my cousin, that's my son. And those stories are going to go through. I mean, I served in the Marine Corps. I remember what it was like to have certain generals right there on the front lines and just, you were inspired. When these guys are up walking around inspecting and there's fire, you can hear gunfire. It, you're all of a sudden like, wow, if they can do this, then you are going to follow. And people are seeing this. The legend is building. All this, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, Poroshenko, I mean, the former president is there and there was a reporter saying, you know, um, how long can you guys hold out? And he, he, he cut the guy off. He said, forever. And he was very clear, Ukraine will never fall. And yes, you could argue, you know, I know there's, there's some guy keyboard warriors out there saying, oh, you know, Russia's got this superior military, they'll eventually take over. Yeah, but they're not going to change the mindset. These people have tasted what it's like for 30 years to live free and independent, and that's not going to go away. And the fight, maybe it will, maybe it will stop in Ukraine at some point, but it will never stop outside of Ukraine as long as Ukrainians, the dream of Ukraine lives on with these people. Now, for this last and most important point, I'm going to paraphrase what apparently Zelensky said whenever the U.S. or maybe it was a European country said, hey, we can get you out of Kiev. And he basically responded back, the fight is here. I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. And this just hits on the point, and this is something I picked up the United States Marine Corps. It's taught again and again. I know in various militaries around the world is true leaders lead by example. They lead by from the front. This goes back, Napoleon talked about this. You go back to Alexander. Why did people follow Alexander the Great all around the world? Because he led from the front. Those kind of warriors you can't help but follow. And yes, I just called Zelensky a warrior, a guy that I don't think served in any military, yet a warrior. And that's why I think this is such a great example because so many of you guys worry, how can I be a leader if I don't have leadership experience or if I haven't been in the military or if I haven't done something super heroic. Well, you can't determine whenever that time comes up, but what you can do is when the moment does arrive that you step up. This is the most important point that you are the first to stand and to say, hey, follow me not go out there and do what I'm not going to do. It happens again and again. Politicians, these so-called leaders of countries, they, they run away or they go into hiding. I mean, when you've got somebody out there doing what we've only read about in history books right in front of us, I think this is an inspirational moment for so many of us out there that want to actually identify a true leader. Now, could he end up disappointing us? Could he end up being killed? Yes, that could all happen and it has happened throughout history. But I think if we take this moment and we look at this and even if he is killed, he becomes a martyr. He becomes some, he becomes something bigger. He's already inspired millions of people around the world. So really that is the power of a leader is the example they set by their actions, not the words that other people say about them and maybe not so much their, their background and their lack of training, but the actions that they take when the moment calls. Now, gents, today's video and a number of videos I'm going to be putting out here in the future are going to be very personal stories about Ukraine. At the same time, I want to keep it relevant to the real men, real style audience. And hopefully, you know, as you watch these, you enjoy them, you learn a lot more about the country. But if you want to understand, you know, my connection to Ukraine, check out this video. I just put it out the other day. And actually, I talk about, you know, just a place I was eating uh, just this last summer, hit by a missile uh, just recently. And, you know, just, you know, this is, again, my stories, my experience. Uh, but this one right here, just talk about what to do when you feel useless, when you don't know what to do. So, check it out. I think it's a good video. And to our friends over in Ukraine, Slava Ukraini.